So, what do you think? What do I think? I think go screw yourself. That's what I think. You gotta calm down. Calm down? I am wearing sunglasses at night. You know who does that? No talent douchebags. I hate you. Crime scene investigation, or CSI for short, was an American TV series that lasted 15 seasons, plus three spin-off series. The series starred William Peterson in the lead, and by the time he left in series 9, he got taken up by Lawrence Fishburne, and then finally by, everybody knows his name, Ted Danson. The wheelchair brake attachment has been loosened. Well, maybe it broke on impact. Impact was from the left side, but the bolts were loosened on both sides. CSI was well known for having famous guest stars every week, including such stars as Justin Bieber, Chris Pine, and the Queen of Burlesque herself, Dita Von Teese, which is quite a coincidence, really, because today's guest is also a burlesque performer hailing from Scotland, and she's here today to help me talk me through CSI, since I've not watched it yet. That's right, she's a chief, she's a queen, but above everything, she's the most tip-top, Lady V! So, hello, Lady V. Hello, Dave. How are you doing? Hello, and I love your headwear. Thank you. <laughs> so, CSI, I, like I said, I said to the viewers, I have never watched it before. I've always worked nights. It's just one of those things that I'll come back to that and never did. Never but I believe did. it's good. So, you being a fan, yeah. tell me all about it. What? What's? Why do you like CSI? So CSI was the first sort of big syndicated show that I got into. Um, I was about 16 at the time when it first came out. It, was, it ran from October 2020, finished in September 2015. There were 16 seasons all in, 15 kind of full 20-ish episode seasons, and then season 16 was like two one and a half hour specials, so like a mini movie. Um, and it was about forensics, and I was getting ready to go to uni to study zoology. And what I really liked was the lead guy in the first, I think, eight seasons was an entomologist. And loads of my lectures at uni were from entomologists because bugs and beetles are some of the easiest things to study from zoology. So it kind of, it came at, at that point in my kind of life, career, and I was a student, so I was hanging about quite a lot watching telly. Namaste, I'm Silver. Police, I'm Brass. Do you actually see yourself being like a, a forensic scientist then? To me, a forensic scientist, Clintsy. Well, I, <laughs> so I'm a scientist, you know, I did my degree, moved on, so I'm in the clinical lab industry, but very topical at the moment. Uh, but I do have mates that went on to go and do forensics and stuff after studying zoology, so it's all kind of like full circle. Um, and, and I think the, the show certainly did inspire at least one of the, the people that I know to go and become a forensic criminologist. After these messages, we'll be right back. sanitary so for somebody who's not seen this before i mean am i right to start at the beginning or is it, does it is it one of these series that starts off a bit muddled and it finds its feet i mean do you recommend starting from the beginning or maybe halfway through because there's different actors it's of, yeah it's one of those shows that you can really dip in and out each episode is kind of like its own self-contained thing they didn't really focus a lot on the backstory of the characters to begin with, so there's none, there's no continuing plot lines until you get into maybe about series three, series four onwards. Um, they totally missed out a backstory. There was an, a scene which was in the first episode of the pilot episode um, of two of the main characters getting off with each other, and they cut that out. So when they sort of touched on it later on down the series, like you were a bit confused because you're they, <laughs> they cut out the big kiss from episode one and then referenced it later on in other series, but you didn't know what the reference point was. So 
that only came out when like Wikipedia sort of pulled all the information together. But... <laughs> Um, I believe that there's also spin-offs. You've got um, CSI Miami, CSI New York, CSI Pafeli North Wales, which is the uh, best, all right, a lot of the last one, which is, um, you think, is the better series, then? Is it the original? Or could it be one of the spin-offs? I, yeah, so I, I preferred the, the original series. And I like the last spin-off, which was CSI Cyber, which they only did two series off because of low ratings. Um, but it was kind of going in the, the direction of where technology is going. So it was all about cyber hacking, all of that kind of stuff. So that kind of thing I found interesting. CSI Miami <laughs> was more focused on the lead guy and about how he looked. And he was always dead dramatically, like taking his sunglasses off and like the wind blowing in his face. And oh, it was hey, kind of kind of... David Caluso, I always called him. Yeah, it was more about him. <laughs> that put me off when I started coming around lots of say sign and saw him went, no. I don't know why yeah. I'm not a fan of him. And he's in, like said in the clip I saw, glasses off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we've found our man. Because it's, oh, I can't remember the guy's name, but he was in Forrest Gump. He played one of the vets that ended up in a wheelchair. So well, Gary Sinise is the guy who was in Forrest Gump, the guy in the oh, wheelchair. Yeah. Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, Lieutenant <laughs> Dan. Yeah. So he's in CSI NY. And I think if the lead character is like a proper, you know, actor and gets right into the role, and the role's not about them, the role's about the character they're playing, it's a much enjoy more enjoyable series, whereas CSI Miami was more about the actor David just looking fabulous or trying to look fabulous. I did. I did. I did to your putty tat. The show is known for its cameos, right? So there's like 140 famous people have done cameos in it. They're generally all the murderer. Right. So it's kind of like... You can, if you watch the starting credits, you know who's going to be the murderer for that episode, but it doesn't really spoil it. I always found that um, with uh, Murder Shiro, and he's, he's the killer. Yeah. He's the biggest name. Oh, what a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> so I had a bit of the murder she wrote about it. Um, Kurt Russell and John Malkovich were considered to be the replacements for the Gil Grissom character, and it was ultimately Lawrence Fishburne. They get yes. chosen. Well, it's filmed in Las Vegas. It was filmed in LA, like ever since most other things. So, like all the kind of B roll shoots. Right. So, it is, it actually generally is filmed in Vegas. It, it started off, I think, uh, they always do it like, I forget where in Canada or something, but it did literally move yeah. to Vegas. And that's where, because they do sort of, even though it might be set in New York, they'll do it in Chicago or something. In this case, yeah. it is. Yeah. It is Las Vegas, so I tried to throw you out there, and I think we got a bit mixed up, but yeah. <laughs> it, it's our accents. I mean, you, you and your Wigan accent, and me and my... <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know. London accent, too, you know. <laughs> really? I'll bet I'll blow you with that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Hello, children. It's quarter to six, and time once again for Magic Roundabout. <laughs> Well, I think we're done here. So all I can say is, so say so you recommend it? Yeah, I do. If you're, also, if you're into music, there's loads of music through it. So all of the theme tunes are by The Who. And what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Roger Daltrey was actually in a seven episode sort of story in it. Clearly he was a murderer. <laughs> you know, cameo, <laughs> but yeah. But he should mention the theme tune because... Write the theme tune, sing the theme tune. <laughs> so we'll end it here. <laughs> With our, our lady here, enjoying the, the sounds of the Who, like you said. Except it's a cover version, but for now, thank you, Lady V. Hope to make more bubbles for you guys again. If you want to see more of these, it'll go down the rabbit hole of Mooch TV, then please subscribe. And don't forget to even share and comment below what's your favourite TV show. Until next time. Have a magical week, guys. Take care.
what's happened here then? It looks like they've been murdered. Murdered? Aye, murdered. So where's Inspector McMunkfish? He's dead. Dead? I hear someone's been murdered. Aye. Aye. Murdered, aye. Murdered. 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 Murdered.